Joining us via satellite before his co-feature on Saturday night is the former super welterweight champ, Jarrett Hurd. Good to see you. 2020, new hairdo, new you. Is that what it's about? Oh, yeah, definitely, man. You know, I like to say it's not a new me. I'm just back to the old me. <laughs> Beautiful. New everything, it sounds like. I know you got a new trainer. How's that been going? Oh, it's been going great. You know, uh, Kay Caroma, he's also um, the trainer, Shakur Stevenson, man. And um, we're working on a lot of fundamentals and, and get back to the basics. Let me ask you this, Jared. Now that, is there more pressure added after this weekend's fight? You know, J-Rock lost against an underdog, and now you're facing basically an underdog. Is there pressure added now? Right. Uh, it's no pressure, man. You know, I'm thinking of it as I always thought of it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, that, that fight has, you know, absolutely nothing to do with me. You know, it doesn't change the outlook on what I have to go out here and do Saturday night. Um, you know, Julie Williams just wasn't successful. You know, he bounced back before. I'm pretty sure he'll be able to do it again. Uh, uh, your, your belt has now skipped over to someone else. Um, moving forward, right. you win this weekend. What, what's next for you? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, that's why I, I didn't really look into too far past my opponent. That's what mm -hmm. I don't want to do is overlook uh, Francisco Santana. But, you know, things have been shaking up. And after this fight, we're definitely going to give my team a see. Talk to me a little bit more about your preparation for this fight, because obviously you've mentioned the fact that you're working on fundamentals, you've gone back to basics with your new trainer. How has preparation felt different this time around other than that? Um, you know, with my previous trainer, we worked on a lot of focusing on my engine, you know, getting through 12 rounds, hustling, being explosive. Um, and we kind of didn't pay as much attention to the fundamentals. And I can tell with K. Karoma, you know, he, he's, he's very strict about that. You know, win fire with one hand, make sure the other one's back there for defense and not just making sure you get the shot off. Um, when you're punching, being off the line when you punch. Working behind the jab to get inside instead of just walking inside. You know, uh, it's, it's a lot of things like that that he's very strict on and he pays a lot of attention to. So that's, that's mainly what I mean when he say he's, he's, he's working on the fundamentals. That's great information, and you need all of that moving forward in order to improve this fight that you have coming up. What exactly are you looking to do in this fight? Are you looking to go some rounds? Are you looking for, you know, a knockout? What, what are we looking for in this fight? Oh, uh, man, yeah, if, if what, I can get him out of there in the first round. What Jared Hurd should we see in this fight? <laughs> Listen, if I can get him out of there in the first round, I'm, I'm going to get him out of there, man. But, of course, we're not going to look for the knockout. We just want to go out there and perform and work on the things <clears throat> we have been working on. And, you know, that's that's not just walking in and working behind a beautiful jab. You know, in my previous fights, I always told myself I was happy that I was in these fights of the year, candidates each and every year. But when I sit down and think about it, in order to be in fights of the year, that means the fight has to be back and forth. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not too fond of just having back and forth fights each and every time. I want to be these, these fights to be one-sided for me to be dominating the entire fight. So I don't want to start this slow and try to play catch-up. I want to dominate the entire fight. I'm going to salute you on that. Mm -hmm. I know you said you're not looking past your current opponent, but but everybody has a bigger game plan, right? Uh, is is there you're also, I assume, looking to get back to the belts that you once held? Everybody wants to win those belts back. So what's your what's your bigger game plan? What's your longer term plan? Uh, well, of course, like I said, even coming to my um, um, with my new coach Kay Karoma, I always wanted the rematch. You know, I was even really about to take it December fourteenth. Mm -hmm. So I always wanted the rematch. But like I said, now that things are shaking up, I really haven't thought about what will be my next move. What would you care more about? Was... Would you care more about avenging the loss or winning a belt? Uh, to be honest, <laughs> pick one. Pick go, one. Go for that <laughs> I want, to, I want to avenge my loss, man. You know, that's Good my only blemish on my record. I want, I want to fight with J-Rock. All right, Jarrett, it's great to speak to you. Best of luck on Saturday. We'll be rooting for you. All right, thank you. No problem. The biggest fight in recent history. Wild and Fury 2, February 22nd on pay-per-view. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.